Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. So this uh, video is for changing your fan belt on a Detroit 60. This is a 2001 Century. Um, so there's three bolts. I, I'm replacing my radiator, so obviously it's very easy to do this. Had I didn't, I mean, I, I would have checked the belts regardless, being that this would definitely be the, the time to do it. Um, so you have to, I mean, you don't have to pull your radiator to do this. It's just a lot easier right now, but if I didn't have a bad radiator, I wouldn't be pulling the radiator. Basically, I would just pull the, the, the fan shroud, um, loosen it, and uh, just push it towards the motor so then you can take your fan off. Because there's no way that these new belts will fit over that. If, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Might you might be able to fit it over? I didn't try it, but it's a lot easier just to do it this way. So, um, anyways, being that we rebuilt this whole motor out of frame, it's got new everything on it. Um, but one of my belts snapped. I could take a chance and just let them run, but um, I'm not. I might as well do all three right now. So there's three bolts, at least on mine. One, two, and three. Uh, one is a 19 or one is an 18 millimeter and two of them are 19 millimeters So first thing you want to do is there's a This bolt right here on the top. You see it's a threaded rod that goes down I, I brought mine all the way up as you can see right there if you can see that right there um, And uh, I loosened it up. That's your that's your belt ten tensioner um, when we when I did the head on this truck myself this bolt actually snapped um, So I had to drill it out into this uh, Fan clutch housing bracket or whatever. I don't know what the it's fan clutch housing or whatever um, I'm not a mechanic. I don't pretend to be one so I had to drill it out and remove the busted rod and then I had to get another one so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the, so I, I loosen up these three bolts, one, two, and three, and the unit dropped. So <clears throat> I pretty much know where my marks are, where I'm gonna bring it back up. But what I'm going to do is, um, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna put anti-seize on that um, thread. I'm gonna pull it out. Um, and uh, do that so now this easy with the three belts so I'm gonna put you on pause I already dropped it as you can see my belts are loose and they're just gonna pop off like so like I said these these belts don't look too bad I'm gonna keep them for spares in the truck just in case um, and I'm gonna install the three new ones but I'm gonna go get some anti seize and put it on that thread I'm gonna put you on pause all right, if you don't know what anti-seize is, that's, what it, that's the stuff we use. You can get it pretty much at any auto zone or O'Reilly's, Amazon, all over the place. So I took the bolt out, and all I'm going to do is apply a good portion of it. Sorry. All right, I'm going to need two hands for this. All right, like so. I'm just start it back up or just pop it back on there and just get it started in there and this is a, a nine or a nine sixteenths I think where's my impact over here no I'm sorry it is a 15 millimeter I'm not going to get crazy because I still got to tension the belts. So that's that. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and put the three belts on and put you on pause. All right, belts are on. Uh, just make sure you stay in your tracks. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab a pry bar. and uh, Or I might just see if I can push it up and, and uh, tighten it up real quick. All right, guys. So <clears throat> pushed it up a little bit. Now my, my belts are in line. And all you're going to do is you're going to use an impact. And you're basically going to you're gonna suck it up. I can see my mark, my old mark right there.
and I want to go to my old mark there. It's pretty good. I want to make sure that their the tension is even. I mean, like I said, I'm not a mechanic, but that looks pretty good. And I am on my old marks. So that's pretty much what that rod is for. That's why I wanted to put anti-seize on it. So if I ever have to do this again, it's fairly easy. It won't get stuck on there. And then I'll just tighten up the three bolts, put my fan shroud back up, and then put my fan on, or my blade on, fan on, whatever. And that's pretty much it. So um, I do have a little tightening up here to do. Um, last time this, this truck shakes and she wore a hole through this coolant line so that goes to the water pump. So anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this. So fairly easy way easier if you're doing it when your radiator's off um anyways that's pretty much it please like and subscribe to the channel ciao